Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this essay, I will discuss the dollar-based global trading system. This system affects the lives of all of us, but very few understand how it works. The First World War ended the gold-based trading system, and the Second World War was the final nail in its coffin. The Bretton Woods Conference was held to find an alternative and the US dollar was selected to replace gold because the US still had substantial stocks of gold reserves. This asymmetric system puts the dollar at the center of global trade and gives enormous power to the USA. An alternative proposal of Keynes for a more symmetric trading system was crushed by the USA. To put it crudely, the Bretton Woods system was to equate dollars to gold. This worked for fine for a while until the expenses of the Vietnam War led to excess printing of dollars. Nixon was forced to suspend or delink dollars from gold and renounce the Bretton Woods Agreement. With the dollar delinked from gold, a system of floating currencies naturally came into existence. There was enormous uncertainty about how the system was going to work and many predicted that it would collapse. The Hunt brothers cornered the world silver market or tried to do so because they thought that this system would collapse and the world would go back to gold and silver. The US was aware of the precarious position of the dollar unbacked by gold and negotiated a deal with Saudi Arabia to ensure that all oil trading would be done in dollars. This effectively ensured that the dollar became backed by the global trade in petroleum instead of gold. Before the Nixon shock, US had to maintain gold reserves in order to purchase things with dollars abroad. But after uh, dropping the gold backing, the US effectively gets to print dollars and uh, trade this paper for real goods from all around the world. Very few understand the full implications of a floating currency system. Uh, modern monetary theory has been invented to describe the workings of the system, but in the economics textbooks, they only teach conventional monetary theory, which is based on the assumption that money is gold. The petrodollar is the key to the US hegemony and power in the world. The uh, US gets to spend as much money as it likes because it only needs to print money, while the other countries must have uh, dollar backing for their currencies, at least until recently. For a number of reasons, US power has declined recently and the emerging power centers have attempted to create alternatives to this dollar-based system because everyone realizes the enormous advantages that the US derives from having dollar-denominated trade. Today, just as in 1944, a symmetric trading system which gives uh, equal power to all of the trading partners is needed, but this is not likely to emerge. Instead, what we are likely to see is a multipolar system where all of the powerful countries uh, balance the power between themselves without uh, giving uh, due uh, fair trades to the weaker countries.